Hey everybody, welcome back to The Garage. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please go ahead and click on subscribe. Also click on the bell to receive all the updates and activity on my channel. So today we have a product review of the King Bolin OBD2 scan tool. So uh, full disclosure, uh, King Bolin reached out to me and uh, essentially they supplied the scanner to me free of charge in exchange for my review. If at the end of the, this review you like this product, go ahead check out the description of the video. There will be a link that will bring you out to the uh, seller's storefront on Amazon where you can purchase it uh, on your own. So what is this? All right, so this is a, essentially, this is an in interface that's gonna plug into your OBD2 port in your car and using a application either through an iOS type device or an Android type device, um, you're going to interface it using an application and within an, within that app whether it be torque or dash manager or anything like that you're going to get a lot more real-time information using a device such as this versus your traditional um hardwired uh code scanners all right so what we're going to do is um we're going to attach it to one of my vehicles we're going to fire up the uh the, uh, the application, I'm gonna show you exactly what this can do for you. Okay, so to use this, what you do is you're gonna take the, uh, the scan tool, the Bluetooth scan tool, and insert it into your OBD2 port, all right? So once you see uh, activity on it, we know that it's communicating, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the, uh, our tablet and set it up. All right, so to set up the device on your tablet or iPad, or whatever you're using, you're gonna go to connections, Go to Bluetooth, and the device will show up as OBD2. Go ahead and pair it, and the password to connect to it, to connect to it is either going to be 0000 or 1234. And once you make your connection, you can go ahead and uh, fire up the, uh, the Torque application. Okay, so now that we have the scanner attached to the vehicle, the uh, it's paired to the application, and the application is running. Um, this is what you're gonna look at, be looking at with the Torque app as far as the, uh, the home page or the home screen when you fire it up. So this video really isn't gonna be a walkthrough of all the ins and outs and what you need, to, what you can do within this application. Um, Cause whether you're using Torque or like Dash Control or Dash Manager or any other application um, that's out there, um, you know, that's your, your experience is, is going to be is going to vary depending on what application that you're using. We're using Torque. Uh, it's probably the, the more popular ones that are out there. But if you want to know more about the, the Torque app, go ahead, do some research on it, and there will be a lot more information than uh, what I'm going to show you right here. This is really kind of like a basic overview of what you can do with a device like this in an app and an app-based uh, control. All right, so with that being said, why don't we go ahead and fire up the Jeep and uh, start getting some data from it. All right, so now with the Jeep running, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into real-time monitor, all right? So before we actually do that, from the Torque app, you know, there's Three or four main things they can go into: real-time information, fault codes, you know, adapter status, test results, and everything else. You know, this vehicle doesn't have any fault codes, so there's nothing ready to, to display. So if you go into adapter status, you can click on it, and you can see the current state of the adapter relevant to the vehicle and everything else. Right? And it shows you um, as far as what's going on, the the VIN, the the, uh, the make of the vehicle, and everything else. So what we'll do is we'll go back, we're gonna go to real-time information. Okay, so real-time information, what we've done here is I've set up a bunch of the gauges and just to list them off, we have the temperature on one of the cats, air-fuel ratio, absolute throttle position, volts, barometric pressure, air, uh, the uh, ambient air temperature, so it's right now it's 39 degrees in the garage. The trans temp, which is 149 degrees. Coolant temp, which is also 149 degrees. Intake temperature, which is 77 degrees. The res right around 800. And the fuel gauge, right? So if you wanted to add a gauge, all you would have to do is 
click and uh, hold, and a menu will come up to, to add a display. You click on add display, and then you click the display type. We're just going to go to needle, and what's going to happen is once you go into that display, it's going to show you all the sensors that are, that are communicating and then that you can add. So what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll through, um, see if we can find one that's, that's kind of relevant just to show you some data. It's kind of interesting that we don't already have. So why don't we do uh, engine load? And then it's going to ask you to pick the size of the gauge. We'll go to medium and then the uh, gauge is going to come up and then we just drag it down and drop it. Now we've added that gauge, right? So as you can see, this is very customizable. You can change your gauges. So what we'll do is we'll go to another screen and if we want to add another gauge, we'll go to add display and let's pick a, uh, I don't know, a different type of gauge. We'll do a dial meter, right? And then what we'll do is we'll just go down and we'll find a one and do GPS longitude, we'll do large so we can see it, right? So that's our longitude relative to where we are. And what we'll do is move display, we'll drag it up to the corner. And let's, let, let's add another display. And we'll do another meter one again. And just we'll scroll down. And let's find, let's do a, right, and then, all right, so trip time, just pick one just for the sake of example, right? So what we'll do is go there and then we can go back, right? And then if you wanna go back to the home screen, you just hit the back menu and now you're back at the home screen, right? All right, so why don't we go ahead and stop the Jeep. All right, so why don't we go ahead and grab the, uh, the scanner and I'll give you my uh, final thoughts on this. All right, so there you go. You saw the, uh, the scanner in action along with the app. And uh, so my thoughts are, you know, I give this a thumbs up. And the reason why is um, with today's, uh, you know, head units, that you can get in any vehicle, you know, they're coming uh, aftermarket shipped with Android and iOS, right? So if you decide to upgrade your head unit in your car, what you do is you can download this app, plug in this scanner and display real time information to your head unit in your car. And you don't need to um, put in, you know, gauge pods and uh, pillar pods and all that stuff. You can put it on the app and really customize it any way you want. So not only does it give you the, the customization of looking at the data in real time, it also has the, uh, the ability to um, give you fault codes and do uh, troubleshooting and, and along that line. All right, so if you like this product, go ahead, check out the link in the description. It's gonna bring you out to the uh, seller storefront on, on Amazon where you can purchase, purchase it yourself. And the, uh, the price point on this is very reasonable because not only do you get the scanner, you also get the link to download the app, which is really all the, uh, where all the magic happens. So if there's any thoughts, questions, concerns, go ahead and leave them in the comments box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.